Hello guys, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new uh, content form format well, for the Apollo YouTube channel. This is a Dragon Block piece of content, of course, it's in the title. We're going to be covering existing content. Rather than looking towards what is going to happen, what we're doing, what we're working on, we're going to cover what we've already done. Right? I feel like sometimes we need to sit down and look back at what we've done to realize where we've, how far we've come, really. You know, only, it's, it's August right now, only a month, only about 14 or so months ago, we were in beta, you know, May, in, in May 2020, we were in beta, the server was hitting like 30 players at peak on like a, say, a Saturday or Friday, you know, and now 30 players is like the average player count, if not, you know, but not all about player counts and numbers you know it's it's about what we built as a community and everything that dragon luck apollo has become whether you play it just for the sake of going super saiyan or seeing your favorite whatever quests realized in minecraft you know players come here for many different things and we know that um as for as for everything behind the remaster release, you know, uh, this is going to be, this whole video is going to be covering the 1.0 release, and then I'm going to be doing other videos for 1.1 release. You know, there'll be, uh, I'm not going to do a video for every single patch or anything, but uh, each thing will have, like, this will be 1.0 all the way up until 1.1, so it will stop after the last patch, I think it was 1.06. So, uh, then we'll, we'll do a 1.1 video, and whenever you know i don't know what the gaps between these will be but i'm interested in doing some new content for you guys so you guys have something um because you know i'm i feel sometimes we're too focused on what we are doing you know it's like when an update comes out like u6 just is only a month or so old now there i really see no point in me being like all right guys the next update uh, like let's enjoy what the server is not to say the next update's never coming out of course not just we're not done just getting started anyway um i think just we, we should enjoy what currently is dragon block apollo and just take a look back because there's a lot of stuff you guys don't know and details you guys don't know um in may you know we were doing like weekly patches just a couple things you know very 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 minor things for beta um just small super small changes you know that were because remember, beta was a single server, unlike the four server arrangement we have now. So everything was so much simpler back then. Although, you know, I don't know. I don't have fond memories of beta personally. And I know a lot of you guys have nostalgia for beta. However, beta was very boring to work on, if that makes sense. Beta was not interesting for anyone on the development team because it's just like, all right, let's add a new boss. Okay, let's add some quests. Okay, let's. This, this and that like it was you know it was nothing like we do now every update is huge on remaster that's what i love about it development it's real design it's real everything you know so as i said in may we started we started saying um what was it 2066 i believe if i'm not mistaken i might be mistaken um i can go ahead and pull up some images for you guys uh Sorry, I know I should have pulled these up beforehand. I hope, please be patient with me. Uh, however, during this May period, you know, small little patches, every single patch at the end would contain a small little message. If I can find that message, this would be amazing. So, why didn't you, why didn't I have this before? Yes. 2066, uh, I have an image here. This was the mod pack logo for a moment. Uh, 2066, you might be asking, what does that mean? Um, it's really not that far-fetched. It sucks that I'm the one who has to explain this. Um, June 6, 2020. You know, six six twenty. Yeah. Uh, in the remaster trailer, we even had 
a um, reveal 2066 into 6620 and then into the date and then oops sorry about that and then into this cool trailer uh you guys should go watch that if you haven't it's on there uh you know june 6 so you have to scroll back a little bit anyway you know with that the the remaster came out of nowhere um i'll pull up the discord here for you guys the remaster right uh you know these patches is what i was talking about see you then buy and this you know nobody knew what this was and then the day before um this was a secretive thing we were working on for a month or so maybe two um i announced a stream saying we're undergoing a major update nobody knew and then uh we did trailer is now on youtube for you guys this was the day of you know we we did a uh big press conference you know there was a decent amount i don't quite recall how many people were there but there was a decent amount of people um so we did that boom we did another press conference covering things and then this was us announcing the release date for july 1st it was a delay because we wanted to release the end of june we just set a june release date uh this logo huge fan it's like my favorite piece of graphic design i've done um anyway the update came out july 1st although it was super buggy it was our 1.0 release and it will always you know hold a place in my heart and although we had um we had uh, some that was a cool screenshot 111 we had some 100 plus players you know on the server and looking back at it it is insane um to just to think about everything really you know i i know this is not really a this is a very long format video and i hope you guys are interested in what i'm speaking about because this is just for anybody who wants to know about the history of the server you know um so july 3rd you know um the first july 1st and 2nd i was staying up late and this is you know i'm not trying to um i don't know i'm not trying to say like oh i'm amazing don't i hope this doesn't come across like that i'm just telling you guys simply what happened so i was staying up uh i think for two days straight uh working on the not this patch the uh it was actually just fixes that i did right away it wasn't like this patch came after some immediate fixes we had to add a second server setup you know uh player cap change uh, all of these things you know this is all very small changed some thread stuff um added you know super small things down here some hud stuff uh yeah and then we did so that was july 3rd and then july 6th we had a bigger patch fixing a bunch of stuff here um friends and party system that was later removed uh it was a different party system that we have today and 1.2.4 uh you know i know this is kind of like not very formal and all over the place however i'd like to show you guys this this was when we first released 1.0 um there was some 190 viewers on the server or on the live stream i think it was 194 if i do recall it was it was insane you know, we, we came out of nowhere, hey guys, we're doing this remaster, and all of a sudden the entire Dragon Block community was looking at us. I didn't know that was possible. Like obviously I had high expectations, but you know, I didn't I didn't think we were about to pull hundred and like nearly two hundred viewers on our stream at have a hundred players for so many days and yeah, the release was a mess if any of you guys were there. You know, it was kinda it was pretty bad. You know, it was all over the place this this and that but it was still the 1.0 and you know we we rolled out patches the 1.2.3 patch fixed some stuff um 1.03 sorry not 2.3 anyway scroll down here to this patch 1.04 fixed uh, a lot of stuff you know these patches were huge um hell this this 1.05 patch was massive you know july 23rd we just ripped it out you know Fixed a crap ton of stuff. It was a borderline update, you know? And that was just an extension of the 1.0 release. And that was that. Um, we announced this stuff here. 
announced a patch coming out on August 9th, apparently. Uh, BOG coming out on August. They have a bad habit, I'll be honest, of, like, oh, look, updates coming out in August. Came out in September, like, 29th at that. So we were indicating it was going to come out mid-month, maybe, and then a patch following it. Man, we were wrong. But, you know, that goes with everything. You know, we can't, we can't know exactly what's happening. Uh, 1.06 patch was huge. You know, a lot of rescales fixing, uh, as you know. And then the 1.1 changelog I will cover next video. So, you know, talking about this 1.0 release, there's so much going into it. We had um, a lot of the existing staff team from beta working um, on this release for just the hopes of delivering a new piece of content that would it would stick and you know land and it frankly has and i'm super proud to see where we are today um it, it, it's amazing to see where we've come and how we're still hitting these heights and you know you guys are enjoying the server i hope and you know we can address your guys's we, i just did that survey video today um survey response video uh I, i'm happy to see you guys um you guys' responses and you guys participating in that survey as i said it's super nice to know that the player base um is more than just people playing and it's it's a community and you guys enjoy playing and this this and that and you sink days and days and days of time into this Minecraft server. You know, like at the end of the day, this is a block game. And albeit, you know, obviously I, I care way more for it than just a simple game. This is my this is my hobby job, if you will. I like to call it a hobby because, you know, I I enjoy doing it more than I would envision myself doing a job. I, I love this server uh so much. Uh this is like Frankly, this is, uh, I'd say, my passion in life. Not not in life, but for now. Obviously, uh, this would be a low bar for a life passion for me. But when I started, just a little history lesson about myself. Back in, and what was it, eighth, eighth grade, yeah? Um, like, I don't know what year this was, but I've graduated high school now, so if that is five six years ago at this point maybe 2015 probably 2015 uh you know working not even working on anything i was just i was just playing dragon block you know, dragon block kai at the time if any of you guys played that um i was a i became a builder because i built some some base in the their wild map uh one of their admins who i still talk to today um he had found my base, and he was like, I guess he told the other staff members, hey, let's get a bit, blah, blah, and me and my buddy became builder, uh, and it, it, you know, it was a fun time. Um, I didn't really build much, but just being in a team gave me the opportunity to open my own server under that mod pack at some point. Uh, DBC Rising, it was called. Just rising, not rising power and rising grit. Nope, just rising. It's rising. Um, and it, honestly, it was it was pretty. It was it was a fun time. You know, we had a decent amount of players, but I'll attribute that to the mod pack, not my own whatever, because it was a pretty mediocre server in all honesty. Um, I would go on to make two more servers. Uh, I had Dragon Block Rising two. I don't know when that was exactly. And then I did like Dragon Block Zephyrus and that stuff. And then uh, under this Zephyrus network, I had also. I had a One Piece server, and that was my main shtick for a while. Uh, that was open for a little while to the extent of Dragon Block. It obviously wasn't nearly as. You know, I, I only got in development last year at, with the 1.1 update. I got into development, which I'll speak on. Next video, of course. Uh, so, you know, I was just making quests, building areas. The builds were pretty crap. This, this, and that. 
But, you know, it was just what was fun to me at that point. This was 2017. Um, then at the end, the very end of 2017, I guess all that stuff fizzled out. I think I was running a Dragon Block server and then I decided to close it. I was running Dragon Block and One Piece at some point. I decided to close them for, I honestly do not recall why. Um, it probably just died, to be honest. Because when you're not doing any content and real development, it's hard to just make new quests and islands and keep people entertained. Anywho, I know this is like a very like weird history, right? Because I'm talking about a 1.1 update that came out 2020, but I'm talking about 2017, what I was doing before Apollo, which is crazy. You know, Apollo um, in December will be four years old. Dude, four years. I've been running this sucker since I was 15. That's insane to me. I'm about to be 19. And frankly, this is the happiest I've been in my life. Just, you know, getting to work on something I view as a, a hobby. And it's provided me the financial freedom to, you know, live my life. Um, have a good time. And just do what I like, you know. I don't have to go work a a nine to five job and be miserable because frankly I am I'm the, I know it sounds so cliche, but I'm the type of person that can't work a normal job. I did it for a year. Um but for me it's just like I've always enjoyed the server more, you know, I I'll, I'll get home, I'll work on the server. I work on the server while playing games. I I'm playing Final Fantasy with the boys right now. They probably hate me for this, but like, dude We'll be in a dungeon and I'll tab out and start working on shit. Like, I'll build the server mod, reload my, or build one of the mods, reload my client, and, like, play the game. And then once it loads, I'll go work on it for a couple minutes. And, you know, usually I'm reloading it a bunch whenever I'm working on a new thing. Try to get it working, GUIs and whatnot. But, you know, in that, it's just, I, I love, I love working on this, dude. Like, I'll be playing a video game, like Final Fantasy XIV, that I enjoy a lot. But then I'll be tabbing out to play to work on the server because I don't look at it as work. It's not my job. It's my hobby and passion. Because I have such enjoyment for that that you know it 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 uh it goes beyond. Oh, I gotta I gotta get this feature out. Oh, I gotta get the next quests out because frankly, you know, if I didn't enjoy this, I would have we would have probably finished super by now, and I would have just been like, oh, quests. Two months later, oh, here's some more quests. Here's an event event quest event event quest you know stuff like that but you know we try to make every update something great you know 1.1 was pretty good 1.2 was our biggest update yet at that point obviously 1.2.3 probably was smaller than 1.2 but it was also not a big number update uh um and there's just so much that i enjoy you know i got the next like two updates easily planned and then like, I know where the server's going. I know what I want to do. I know what I want to accomplish. And I'm just glad you guys are here for the adventure because it wouldn't be possible without you guys. Without you guys donating, without you guys doing all these things to support me and the team. You know, I, I just, I love it. You know, I'm, I'm trying to be as thankful as I can and express that to you guys so you guys understand that I'm not trying to, you know, this is never going to be a, Ah, uh, you know, is a new hundred dollar donation rank. Go buy this, you know, whatever. Um, this is for me always just been about having fun, and the financial aspect is a different thing for me. It's it's not like obviously in doing anything with as much time as I put into this. Yeah, there's a financial side, and yeah, I'm not gonna be an idiot about it, and it's in my best interest to put effort into that, right? And do things I think will be beneficiary beneficial financially. Cause I, I have my own apartment. I um don't have a proper nine to five or anything of that sort. So, you know, obviously I have to survive. But that's neither here nor there. That's not that's not your guys' concern. Your guys' concern is getting content, telling us what we're doing wrong, telling us what we're doing right, telling us what you like and don't like. That's your guys' concern. And you guys do that in a good way, in a bad way. But, you know, obviously, it's the internet, dude. Someone will come to me and say, oh, I hate you, or this, this, and that. But then, like, 90 other people will be like, 
ah, oh, we love you, Lil, and then one person, that one, you know, one out of 99 people will say that, and then all of a sudden, I'm thinking about that. You know, I'm thinking about that for 20 minutes, talking about it with my boys. But, you know, the internet is, that's something, right? Everybody, this is so off topic. You know, this is about the 1.0 release. Um, if you guys are still here, thank you for just listening to me vent. I know I was talking about what has happened to get us to this point. I'm going to get back on top of that, or on the topic of that. I think everyone understands the concept of one person's negative opinion outweighing 99 good ones, because when someone says, ah, you're, like, because I know my server is good. And, again, not to be egotistical, that's just, like, if I didn't think my server is good, and I didn't think my server was the quote-unquote shit, why would I be working on it? That's kind of my thing. Like, I'm not saying my server is the best thing ever. No, I'm just saying, like, I love my server and I know it's good. So when I get props for it, I'm like, thank you. I'm glad you, I'm glad you like what I did. That's what it is for me. Uh, but back to the whole 2017, uh, like, in December, I was working on this Dragon Block Apollo pre-alpha alpha thing, you know. And when, when that came out, man doing all right numbers you know uh what trey Alp did a video on it made us huge just we were just in our alpha and then we did our beta in may and you know it was uh like may of 2018 by the way so it took two years to get to the remaster 1.0 full release was a concept that would have been the 1.0 but full release was an open world type concept and frankly that we me and the team felt it was better to do the instant based thing it, it, it provides for more freedom honestly uh, well, I know freedom's ironic when I'm comparing open world to non-open world, but I hope you guys understand what I'm saying in freedom. Freedom for us as creatives to not, like, because an open world is so hard to develop, and I wasn't developing at that point. So an open world was like, damn, how am I going to do that? And, you know, just in general, the where we are today is amazing i've said it so many times dude i should probably wrap up this video honestly maybe i'll do that eh, perhaps again just to reiterate i'm i'm very thankful for what everyone here has done to and i know it's not any individual player like you guys all just here because you heard this was a cool dragon block server dragon ball in minecraft whatever it is but you know Thank you to everybody personally who plays and has been playing for multiple updates or just started and is ready for that next update. Thank you all. I appreciate everybody who reads all of our Discord announcements and tunes in and watches our videos. You know, I know there's a very few people who do that, and there's just a lot of people who play and don't really care about the community. You know, I play games and don't care about what's happening in their community. But I appreciate all of you for making your suggestions, whether whether people like them or not, that's not what it is for me. I just, I appreciate that you took the time and the mental capacity to make that suggestion, whether it was bad, good, or in the middle. I, I appreciate you. Thank you for trying to make the server better because even if your suggestion's bad, at the end of the day, you were saying, hey, this might make your guys' server better. Maybe you should try it. If not, okay, you know? Um... Obviously, there's those bad suggestions that are like, you guys need to fix this or need to change this. And we ignore those. But, again, you guys are amazing. Um, this community is, is great. I love to interact with you guys. I love to talk to you guys. I'm, and I'm, I'm so happy that you guys are tuning in and playing and dealing with our bugs and our issues. Because, you know, I am the developer right now. I'm our only developer and you know we got a we got a large team of questers scalers testers all this stuff also if you guys want to be a tester uh there's a discord application channel right here help wanted go ahead and do that it's just um this one here is for tester please if you guys are interested and you guys have been around for a while a lot of do it you know message vegeta i suppose um so, again, if you're interested in that, let us know.
we're always looking for new members, dude. We have no cap of members, you know. If you know some coding and you know how to make plugins, you know how to make mods, and you think you could help, throw your hat in, man. If you like the server, you like what we're doing, you like what I'm doing, throw your hat in. Tell us what you have to offer. And if that works out, amazing. If it doesn't, at least you tried. But testers have a pretty low bar. Literally all you have to do is be an active player and, you know, yeah. We just want your input. We want we want to we want to be like, hey, how do you guys like this idea before we tell the entire server about it? We want to be like, does this group of thirty people like this idea before we tell eleven thousand people? And with that, thank you guys all for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, man, go ahead and uh go ahead and comment something. What what are we gonna comment? Let's comment. Just say, uh, just say something simple. Say, uh, wow. I don't know. Say you made it to the end of the video. Boom. <laughs> 26 minute video. Wow. Uh, yeah, if you made it here, thank you. Love you all. Thank you all for participating in making this server what it is, truly. Without you guys, we would not be here. I mean that. You guys are amazing. Thank you all. Everything you do for me and the team, you guys make this dream possible for me. Thank you.